Our team is called The Link to the Flash, and our, our game, game is called Planet, Planet Quest. Our big idea is to help educate the kids about pollution in the world and how it affects not only people, but how it affects animals and the plants and how like one person driving a car could affect the whole planet. Our ideas were kind of similar, kind of doing with pollution, but just pollution with different things like Mine was about plants. Mm, mine was like about like the whole earth being polluted and you had to get new energies to help it. And Using alternative energies? Yeah. So are you going to incorporate that in this game? Yeah, we combined both of them into one. We had to make a lot of decisions like how it was going to be like a platform game or like planning out the whole story. And, stuff like that or how they're going to move and what they're going to do in the storyline. We kind of like share and then saw if like... If it would go together, if it would work with our game. Yeah. So, so if... And we also had the help of other, men, of other people. Our first decision was thinking of the name. I wanted it to be Global Helper, but he thought of Planet Quest. And so we were thinking, well, what would other people find more appealing? So we asked other members in our class, and we decided to ask what they like, and they chose Planet Quest. And our roles and responsibilities were, I pretty much like designed and did art and did all that stuff, and he kind of made the story and, and like all the stuff. And, I also take what he draws and puts it into Flash. Yeah, we kind of both do Re research. Yeah, we both research and we pretty much research on the like different types of uh, pollutions and alternative energies just so we could put them into the game. And all that. We also got many of our sources or how we found our information. I usually use Wikipedia and I use Google to help me find other websites. We have used films as well. Um, that we have watched in the class. And we also use books. Use your experience. The player pretty much has to like go through the game and find new alternative resources to save the earth. And he has to fight off like pollution. Because we made pollution into like characters and we made them pretty much like Lots evil, yeah, evil bosses that can from a different planet that are trying to take over the world because they need more. The user will have to choose their gender. After that, they have to choose what weapon that they would like. Then they would choose their planet, the planet they would like to go to. It also gives them instructions and it shows them the bosses that they might have to face. They aren't sure which planet they're going to be on, so that's what makes it exciting. Because no matter what planet you choose, you're going to end up choosing a boss that you wouldn't expect. Well, we have used many Flash resources. Mainly we get it from our wiki and wiki tips and the other lessons such as like adding buttons and you how to add motion to it. Symbols and like all uh, the things like and how they move. <coughs> and buttons. Yeah. We didn't really have many challenges. Just like if we needed to help with anything, we just looked at the wiki and like made it or something. Like pretty much the wiki helped us a lot. And if we couldn't find it on the wiki usually we'd ask one of the students who does as we would call it, get it. Like, if I needed help with the button, I could have asked maybe one of the students who does know buttons very well, and I could have asked them to help me.